Welcome to first and only SaaS News Digest, featured on LinkedIn, where I cover news, events, and the updates that are happening in the SaaS community worldwide. Our first digest today takes a look at the SaaS company Asana and their recent IPO. Asana is a SaaS cloud solution designed for team-based work management that hit the market in 2008. They recently initiated an IPO and are trading above the reference price of $21. Asana opt for direct offering rather than a traditional IPO. This resulted in the stock first trade price spike upward to almost $30 a share before dropping. Recent valuations put Asana at 17x future earnings, and that is higher than the rest of the industry, which is trading roughly at 11x future earnings. The entire productivity management software industry is expected to reach $102 billion in the next seven years. And so far, Asana is only capturing one-tenth of 1% 1 of a total addressable market within this segment. And only between 2 and 3% of the market segment is tapped at all. Add to that massive cloud business valuation of $3.7 trillion, and Asana is well poisoned to grow. Their year-over-year -year growth rate has already hit 86% during the fiscal year of 2020. They went from 76.8 million all the way to the impressive 142.6 million. And it might be a bit pricey to buy now, but this is definitely a company to keep an eye on for long term. Our next digest takes a look at some of the reasons to consider hybrid SaaS solutions. An age where one of the top priorities for many enterprises is migrating to SaaS solutions. So why consider a hybrid option? Well, SaaS hybrids utilize both cloud and on-premise infrastructure. And some experts insist that hybrid SaaS programs offer many benefits and additional security. For example, include more predictable application performance, which is a growing market concern. A recent survey reported that 29% of all users were significantly impacted by SaaS slowdowns. And since hybrids can help eliminate resource contention, the results improve performance. And that is a better performance and companies are willing to pay for. And for example, SaaS vendors focus on share infrastructure to offer competitive price points. But data shows that 40% of SaaS companies now set prices with a better performance as a major value metric. Another hybrid advantage involves cybersecurity, a huge concern right now for companies. Hybrid SaaS solutions offer faster data restoration in event of malicious deletion. And they also offer more customer control over backup policies and physical location of the data. So SaaS hybrids combine share of a single tenant infrastructure offering better performance and security and should definitely be considered for enterprise solutions. And our final digest today examines the security threats poised to increasing numbers of SaaS solutions. The rise of endpoint devices can be dangerous for data security as many employees continue to work from home. And some cloud providers are offering whitelisting solutions that enable safer network connections. But the reality is that the employees are bypassing these more secure options and using their own direct connections instead. Many workers are also choosing their own SaaS solutions, which presents other security issues. Tons of SaaS programs are in a play that have not been vetted by internal IT security teams. And these unchecked programs pose risks with data ownership and information security. In response to those threats, experts are promising a multidisciplinary strategy for security. A strong security team should include many people with different areas of expertise. An expert should consider business knowledge, IT infrastructure, procurement, legal, privacy, and IT risk assessments. It is also essential to have a clear understanding of what security points the company will manage and versus what the SaaS vendor is in charge of. Another important point is, to, is when it comes to security, it is 
evaluation of SaaS vendors. Companies need to examine how the vendor's security measures compare to their own security goals and risk appetite. So, what security certification or assurance report can vendor provide? Well, they are prepared by independent auditors and can be a great tool for evaluating vendor security. Security tests are another way to discover weaknesses, and some vendors even allow customers to perform penetration tests that display security practices in action. It takes a diverse and knowledgeable security team, the right vendors, and constant assessment to keep SaaS solutions up to date, safe, and secure. I hope you enjoy SaaS News Digest. The SaaS News Digest belongs to all of us and provides the value to members of our community because of you. So please click like or insightful button, share the SaaS Digest on your LinkedIn page, and let's work together in developing this community and setting new SaaS global standards. My name is Artem Ghassan, I'm the general partner at SaaS Growth Ventures, and my superpower is I invest in fuel growth and revenue for SaaS companies. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.